Papa Mua Azagimale. Mua Azagimale. Love is my religion. Yeah. Well, it comes from years of studying. Mama no. Ziggy Marley has been supporting the Israeli occupying force for a really long time. You're not welcome here, Ziggy. Um, I've, I've been connected to Israel from when I was a child. Um, through my father and my mother, we have a strong belief in um, the history. You know, if you, 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 you've heard of my, fa of my father, you've heard of Exodus. Um, we are we are strongly connected to the history of Israel. I feel a very spiritual and personal connection to that land and the people of that land. So this is an honor and a blessing, and we will continue to have that connection, no matter what anybody says or does, and continue to support Israel. Ire, Ire. Oh, sorry, my wife is beautiful. Thank you very much. And in 2018, he did a fundraiser with a whole bunch of artists in the U.S. to raise over $60 million for the military force. Wow. We don't believe that Zionists should be welcome in this country. We don't believe that's actually what the people of Aotearoa support. I, I am going to Omed. I was going because he was performing, but now I've heard this all. I had no idea that he, what he was supporting. Um, yeah, I think, no. He is supporting the killing of my people, so I will not be saying ahlan wa sahlan to him. So what do you think about that, Brother Ziggy Marley? Big up Ziggy Marley, the son of um, our dear uncle, our hero, our legend. Yes. The apex of our people's music, Bob Marley. Um, he's bigging up this fraudulent nation called Israel, which used to be Palestine. They just, European people went there and they said, according to scripture, this used to be Israel. We're gonna cut it up, carve it out, carve it out like this. And, and they took the whole place. By the way, they were welcome there as guests no problem until they started colonizing the place and they call it Israel brother Ziggy Marley says he feels homely um, I don't think that is the correct word I think homely means somebody who's too simple that's what homely means uh, but the word has changed over the years because people are misusing it until the wrong usage becomes you know, like he feels at home, that's what he means, in Israel, uh, which used to be Palestine, by the way. Let's remind you, uh, in, in our records, we don't have Israel. We have all countries in categories in our research labs. When it comes to Israel, we look at Palestine. We completely does not exist. Um, this goes into issues of religion and stuff like that, and I don't like to deal with that because it just gets all messy. Okay. Um, I don't think that's what Rastafarians mean when they say Israel. I think the Israel of Rastafari is more imaginary, is something of a spiritual existence. It's not a real, tangible, physical place like Ziggy Marley is thinking. As a matter of fact, I think when Rastafarians like Bob Marley say Israel, I think they're referring to Ethiopia to be the real and true Israel. Not the fake thing they've got going on over there. So this is, has caused quite, quite a bit of problems, you know. Um, as uh, these killings and um, you know, constant tyranny has been going on um, in Palestine, in Gaza. The problem lies with Ziggy's backing for the IDF, a military organization supported by over 2,300 individuals, arguing that Ziggy's support for such an entity contradicts the peaceful 
and humanitarian views he promotes through his music. Yeah, he has a, that, his name. His nickname is Tough Gang. Tough Gang. Yeah, gang. Gang. Tough Gang. Gang. Okay. So that's his. That, he's, that from, he's from the ghetto. Gong. Yeah. What it means, mean? I mean, it means don't mess with him. Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what it means. He had an edge to him. You know, you grew up in the streets. Oh, by the way, tough gang, the gang part of it, must have come from gang gang guru. Gang gang guru. Okay. GG. Maraj, Gangan Guru Maraj. It was the pen name for the firstest Rastaman ever. His name was Leonard Percival Howell. He embedded himself in the East Indian communities within, I think, the Kingston area. And then he adopted the name G.G. Maraj, Gangan Guru Maraj. And then he called himself Tough Gang, or the Gang. So Bob Marley came behind and said, Well, if you are the Gang and you are the first man, I will be Tough Gang. That's where Gang comes from, Tough Gang. On the 25th of February, 1981, Jamaica buried one of the most controversial of its heroes, Leonard Percival Howell, the founder of the Rasta movement. Jamaica also buried his memory. This footage of the funeral is the only available image of the first Rasta, the man who gave Bob Marley his message and his name, Gong. Well, the gang is a mystic man, you know. You miss it right down here and you don't see him. Yeah. Released at the end of 1936, he went back to St. Thomas. He carried a little pamphlet, The Promised Key, published under a strange Indian name, Gangungu Maraj. concept of a God incarnate of Africa. Leonard Howell wrote a poem, a prayer, which has more than half of the distorted Hindi words. And he changed his name from Leonard Howell to Gagan Guru Maharaj, which means the Lord of the Universe, and started his own ashram or his own, um, what they call it, uh, their own community. Gangung Maharaj will yes. set his people free. And the people that must say the prayer say hala In 1959, a big Rasta convention gathered there, but Howell didn't show up. New leaders took control of the movement, now divided into many denominations. Rasta conventions became the laboratory of a new music, which in time would spread Rasta culture to the island and to the world. In the land settlement of Trenchdown, just across from Bacawal, a brown youth with a pointed nose declared to his pals, I'm a gong too, a tougher gong. Bob Marley had found his weapon, music. Music. 